Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. This one's going to be kind of a short and sweet uh, video, but you might learn something from it. Since I've had so many people interested in the videos that talk about little handy talkies, let me uh, kind of pass on a couple of things to you uh, in case you didn't know. You, you may know this already or you may not, I don't know. Anyway, most of these uh, transmit at uh, 4 to 5 watts. There's a couple of them on the market that transmit at 8 watts. <clears throat> but the first thing you have to realize is that it's line of sight only. And in other words, uh, the antennas have to see each other in order to make a contact. <clears throat> So that's why, you know, I get some people coming in the video and say, well, I transmitted 35 miles on my handy talkie from the side of a mountain. Yeah, that's right. And that's why my scanner picks up airplanes coming into DFW Airport, which is at least 60 to 70 miles away from here, okay? Because those planes are up at 5,000 feet, all right? So my antenna can see the plane's antenna. <clears throat> so uh, line of sight only, line of sight only. So what's the real line of sight? Real line of sight is till you run into the curvature of the earth is uh, 7 to 10 miles. Now, you got to throw in buildings, trees, uh, metal sheds uh, along the ground because you're just standing up holding this radio, okay, in your hand. So it's, uh, let's just call it six feet over the ground, uh, over the uh, surface of the earth. So your line of sight is only about 7 to 10 miles, but the signal's going to be attenuated by objects in the path. So, probably won't go 7 to 10 miles simplex across level ground. Uh, that, that may or may not be your maximum distance. Uh, with two people standing on the ground, transmitting with uh, one of these handy talkies. <clears throat> now, here's something else that will affect your signal. Uh, as you know, this, or you may not know, this is an omnidirectional antenna. And around this antenna, while I'm holding the push to talk, there's a donut-shaped field, magnetic field, electromagnetic field, that it's generating, and its shape looks kind of like a donut. So if we could imagine it right now, this antenna is in the center of the donut, and there's this donut all around this antenna. <clears throat> Coming toward me, going out that way, going that way, that way. A little tiny bit going straight up, but not very much. Uh, that's where the donut comes back. The donut comes back there. Now what happens if I do this and transmit like this? Hello Pete, how you doing? What if I do that? Now which way is the donut going? It's going like this. Well what if Pete is holding his radio like this? Which way is his donut going? It's going like this. Vertically polarized signal. Horizontally polarized signal will decrease your range substantially. The two antennas are not in sync, uh, polarized in sync. So uh, you kind of got to get everybody on the same page. You can talk this way, you know, and push the button and hold the antenna out here. You can talk like this if everybody else is talking like that. 
for maximum range. Or you can talk like this if everybody else is holding the antenna up for maximum range. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> you really want a vertically polarized uh, transmission. Okay? Just by doing this, you lowered the antenna, didn't you? You even lowered it some more. All right? Rather than that. Okay, so try to get everybody, all your buddies and everybody on the same page and teach them to talk in the radio like this. All right? Do not talk in the radio like this. All right? Uh, that means your polarization is off and it will affect your range. As I've said before, the range is not that great, so anything you can do to heighten um, where you are will improve your signal. Let's talk just a minute about these antennas. <clears throat> a lot of times when you buy a radio, you know, it's going to come with what we call a rubber ducky, and it'll be an antenna about that high, you know, just a little short. You want to get rid of that antenna, and you want to go out there and buy a longer, uh, higher gain to some extent, uh, antenna, all right? Like I've done with this one, okay? This is not the factory antenna. Uh, it's much better than the factory antenna. There's myriad brands out there, uh, uh, and lots of good ones out there, so just do a little research on some handy talky uh, higher gain antennas and uh, pick your poison. <clears throat> I don't think it's you know, if you go with brand A or brand B, I don't really think it's going to affect your range uh, to any substantial degree, or you may not even be able to notice it. Even though you might have a teeny bit uh, stronger signal, eh? whether it's noticeable or not is another question. So be sure you change out the antennas. Let's talk about these antennas for a minute. This is a dual band radio. 2 meters, 70 centimeters. Got to put my eyes on. So, an antenna needs to be a half wavelength or better, or better, to be kind of an optimal antenna. Half wavelength. You can do quarter length, quarter wavelength antennas, but they're generally not as good as something a half wave or longer in wavelength. So let's look at some of these numbers. You can do your, this yourself with a calculator. So on two meters, uh, the antenna <coughs> full length would be 78.7 .7 inches approximately. So that'd be an awfully long antenna. Now you've seen those kind of antennas in military backpacks where the radio man is carrying the radio and he's got this big tall whip, you know, sticking up. Uh, he might be carrying a full wave two meter antenna because uh, that's 78.7 .7 inches, okay? Full wave in 70 centimeters, which is the other band this radio operates on, is 27 and a half inches. So right off the bat, you say this is not a full wavelength antenna on either frequency, is it? Well, let's pretend uh, we're just going to try to get a half wave, a half wave. On two meters, we'd need 38.3 inches. To get a half wave two meter antenna and on 70 centimeters we need 13.8 inches. So this is uh, probably you know a full half wave full half wave on uh, 70 centimeters but not quite that on uh, two meters have to be 38 inches long. So what they do is they put coils in here. And so that inside this little thing here, the wire goes around and around and around. And it's making up 
that length, whatever they chose for this antenna. So they might have put enough wire in there on two meters to make this a half wave. I can't really tell you. I don't remember the specs. But there may be enough wire in here uh, to make this thing, or down here, to make this thing 38 inches long, actually, because it's a coil of wire. Uh, likewise, uh, they may have uh, put some coils in here that would make this a full wave 70 centimeter. Anyway, that's some of the questions you need to research when you're looking at a, a particular antenna. Try to, try to get, and a lot of times it's not possible or practical, but try to get a half wave or better. Uh, you may have to fall back to a quarter of a wave. I can tell you my mobile antenna is a quarter wave, okay, on the car. Uh, if it was a half wave, it would stick up and I would run into it every time I pulled in the garage. So that would be unacceptable. So, but try to get a half wave or as close as you can to a half wave. The closer, the better. Uh, and your antenna will perform better. So that's about all I had for you for day. today. Make sure you're all transmitting vertically or horizontally. Don't intermix them. Uh, figure out what kind of uh, upgraded antenna you're going to put on your little handy talkie. And remember, your range is limited by the curvature of the Earth. 7 to 10 miles. There is a little ground effect, little, where it just bounces off of buildings and things like that and it goes a little further uh, ground wave propagation, but it's not really that much further. Anyway, well that's it. As I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. Subscribe. Come on back. See y'all later.